Alrighty, what's up you guys? So this is a different video. Uh, and I'm not in my room, I'm in my sister's room. So that's why you see a little hairbrush stand. I'm using her desk. Right here we've got the typical Xbox One controller. Good controllers, you know, everything. You know, you could use them, game, whatever. Whatever you desire. But, that they have a headphone jack down in there that goes bad sometimes. And they are only four bucks a piece off Amazon. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to replace it. I've already had this controller apart just to make sure, just to see how to actually do it. First thing you're going to need is a little electronics bit driver, a uh, Torx T6 or a T6 security bit, um, uh, not a, uh, just a T6 security, you need a T6 security bit, or not a security, just a regular T6, and you need a T Torx T8. Uh, security bit or regular Torx bit, uh, but I will show you guys how to do it without paying the extra money for a security bit. But if you don't want a security bit, uh, then you're going to need one of these really, really tiny uh, flathead 1 by 16 uh, flathead bit and then a nice good one for prying. On stuff. First thing you're gonna to want to do is flip the controller upside down and get your prying the flathead bit you're gonna use for prying. You want to start off right here at the seam. You want to get it inside there. Now this does sound very cringy. Uh, sounds like they're breaking. And all you do is just work around the outside of it. Um, be careful, because I've had one fly across the room. You just work all around. As that side clicked right back together. Uh, you're going to be careful. Yeah, that'll ha that happens. Uh, basically, you just work with it until that piece comes out. Whatever you desire, any any type of way works. But you just want to, you just want to get it. There it comes, and sometimes you'll have a little piece break. Don't be worried about it. it makes it easier to take out next time. So here's the left side of the controller. It says L right there. Um, now go to the other side and you want to do the same exact thing. First, remove the batteries. Of course, you don't electrocute yourself. But you just simply... Now, these things are, like I said, a very big pain. But once you get them, they come out. Set that aside, whatever. And under this little sticker, there'll be a sticker in there. And you want to break that and peel it. And there'll be a screw under there. So now you're going to need the super tiny one. If you are using security bit, uh, T8 security bit, then you just skip this step and go ahead and loosen them. Uh... But if you're not using a security bit, you want to get this uh, 1x16 flathead little tiny little thing. And on all these screws, you want to put it in there in between the post. And uh, you just twist it like that. And it'll break that post off. You keep working it inside there until it comes off. And if you're, make sure your screwdriver's man magnetic tick tip. So that way it'll, the little bung will just lift right out and you can take it off and take the ball end off and do the same for all the other ones. I've already done that. You just put it in there and it's such such thin metal literally just, you know, go and then it breaks right in half and then work it and then it'll 
come fully disconnected and come out connected to your screwdriver. You should do that for every single one of these, including that one. And then you won't need any security bits anymore. So then you take your T8s, T8 uh, Torx, and you want to put that down on there, and you want to loosen the screw. Now, if you have a security bit, then you could skip that last step and just do this step until your screw comes out. And you do want to save it because you are going to reuse it. You want to make sure to get that out of there. They're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, let me fix the light better. There. And then over here, and you just screw it out. And they are going to be tight coming out, and they will be tight going in. But uh, that's because uh, it's threading in the plastic. And it makes its own thread. It's not tapped uh, from the factory. They don't tap it. See, you can see the plastic on there. Also, a reason why you don't want to over tighten these is because. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's also five screws. So there's one in this corner, one right there, one under that, as I was talking about. And then same for the other side on these corners. But you just want to remove them. If it doesn't want to come out, you could just, and then it comes out by turning your controller upside down. And remove that last one. Now here's where the crazy stuff, you're going to use your hands to hold this thing together. Okay, so now you want to hold that back piece and kind of work. Grab right here and just work. And there, this comes off. Uh, make sure everything, like the vibrator motor and stuff, the vibrating motors, stayed. And this back thing will be loose. Don't worry about it. You just want to get it stayed in there. But then you got... So that's how the vibrating works. Sorry about that, you guys. So as I was saying, there's motors here uh, with counterweights to make it vibrate. That's why it's off balance. Uh, and there's also little motors inside there with a little counterweight that spins. But anyway, so leave this back on there. It's going to be loose, but that's okay. That's not going to hurt anything. And you could remove it too if you want. But you got to be careful if you do because your D-pad's going to be in there. Uh, and it can easily come out. Uh, so that's why I just try to leave the back on as good as I possibly can. So now you got two screws, one right there and one right there on the same spot. So you want to take your, these aren't security, so then you want to get your T6 Torx. And you just back it out. Righty tighty lefty loosey, remember that. My hand's probably shaking. Uh, it's, I, I forget what it's called. It's not. I'm not scared, but there's this. Uh, I forget what it's called that causes your hand to shake, which does make it hard to work on stuff. Both my hands do it all the time. Uh, so now uh, those screws are out. You're gonna want to very gently get your uh, prying one again. You have to be very gentle. You want to put it. I, I like putting it right there, uh, just like that, and it clicks up. And there's a connector down in there. So now, right there's your headphone jack. It sits in that spot right there, but you just want to get it out. You might have to separate it more, which is okay. Just don't completely remove it to make the job easier. Um, remove it through the back, do whatever, just remove it. 
Oh, you just gotta get it out of the controller. So here it is. This is what goes bad on Xbox controllers. It's this little device. Uh, you can see how it sits in there. It's got a little post right there. And then it just sits. And that stops you from moving back and forward inside there. Right there is where the connections are made. Uh, now there's prongs inside there too that go up inside. But anyway, so you get done, uh, you know, get your new one, uh, you put it inside there, you actually want to put it in there upside down like this, uh, just like it came out, and you want to get it, there, see how it just set, set itself in there, then you want to, uh, Take this all and just kind of join that back together like that. And there's a little connector back in there, if you could see it. Yes. Push it until that connector... Yes, just like that. You want to be gentle on all this stuff. Because it's a circuit board. You want to push it, and that'll join these two circuit boards together. If you do not plug that in all the way, your controller will not work. So now, you want to get your T6 screws. And... This is why I was talking, recommending a magnetic tip screwdriver. Because you can just take the screw and kind of put it on there and it'll stay. And then you can feed it in there and then tighten it. And you go till it stops, literally. Just like that. Uh, you do not want to make it tight because, again, these are screwing into plastic. Um, right there, I just did it without the magnetic to tip. I think it's better to put it on the mag. Whoop, I slipped off. Um, but I think it's still better to put it on the magnetic tip. And if you don't have a magnetic tip, you can still do it. Uh, so now that's together. You're gonna want to take your back piece. Now this piece will give you trouble. But first, just kind of double check stuff. You know, make sure your headphone jack sitting. Uh, sitting in there correctly, and it is. Everything's sitting in there just like it should. Uh, vib the vibrator motors are fine. The wires are fine where they are. Uh, but before we start putting this back together, just give that an extra little, like, push to make sure it's together. So now you're going to want to take this part. Uh, it's a little bit complicated at first, but once you get it in there one time, the rest is easy. So you want to join the front. So look back in there. See those battery clips? The reason you can't get those together is because there's the positive and the negative. One of them is positive, one's a negative. But you want to get them inside there. Just like that. And then the whole thing will literally, if you line it up just right, once you get those on there, the whole thing. Just like that. And now the controller's together. And you just kind of want to get it down on there. And make sure, see that gap right there? You want a, you want a gap in there. But you got you just go until it stops. But make sure them are going through. Because if not, you'll bend them. They're easy to bend. Uh, but now, so take your uh, T6 out. Put your T8 in. Or security, T8 security, or T8, which I showed you guys what to do if you don't have a security bit and don't want to get one. You put that in, and you just start tightening it. Uh, drilling in the plastic don't matter if you cross-thread it, but you do want to put it in until it stops. You don't really need the magnetic tip for these, except for like that one back in there. But if you, if you have your fingers just right, Magnetic tip is good though because you could get it. You could get it back in there. I'll show you a better example on this next one. And you just want to go and keep turning. It's going to get a little bit tighter to tighten as you go because everything's compressing together. But it'll literally tighten and then stop. That's how tight you want it. You do not want it any tighter. 
You just go till it stops. You might be wondering, oh, you gotta snug them down. Well, it's an Xbox controller, not a space shuttle. All you're gonna do is hold it in your hands. With that, as long as it don't fall apart. See, it just stopped. See? Uh, now this one right here, you can just put it down in there by hand. And then put your T8 security or regular on there. Uh, tighten. In depending on what was on it too, if there was some plastic left over or if it's just cross threading, it don't really matter. It'll go down and stop. Uh, just don't tighten it. So see right here is where the trouble is. So you just take your magnetic tip screwdriver. Uh, see and you just do that. Do that number. And then and then you get it down in the hole and then just start turning on her. And now you want to double check all of them. Double check, double check all of them. Um, so I don't have any headphone jacks on me. But usually if your headset stops working, the majority of the time, if you use a different controller and it does work, the majority of the time it is that headphone jack. Uh... So now, uh, you take this, I'm on the wrong side here, and you line everything up and just like that, and it clicks in. Same with this other side, you just get everything and they're good and then you just and there now your Xbox controller is finished so if you don't connect that four prong connector that was inside there I was telling you about uh, it will not turn it'll turn on but uh, some functions will not work so now you just put your battery any battery of your choice in there. Let me see if it turns on. And there it is. And yes, I'm going to prove to you guys it does work. A button, B button, all the buttons work. So yeah. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe if this helped. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Uh, and I will try my best to respond. That's it.